Lisa Dietlin, a Chicago-based expert on philanthropy. Lisa Dietlin is the president of the Institute of Transformational Philanthropy. To make it easier for us, is philanthropy advisor Lisa Dietlin. Joining us live now with some heartwarming tips is Lisa Dietlin. Always a pleasure to have Lisa Dietlin on the air with me. What if you could achieve your goals? Lisa Dietlin says you can. How many of you have goals and dreams? How many of you feel like every single day you're taking a step closer to getting toward them? Oh yeah, three of you. Okay. <laughs> so imagine this is your life and you've got some goals. And you have your goals. Maybe you want to buy a house. Maybe you want a new job. Maybe you want to get married. You have these goals, these pretty lofty goals here. And then there's the stuff of life, which is I got to go to work, I got to, you know, pay the rent. I have to do all these other things that keep me from my goals. Pretty soon your goals start to get buried. And then it's your emotions. I'm really irritated today. I had a fight today. I, you know, I, it's, uh, it's bad. Uh, there, you have all these emotions going on. And pretty soon your goals are really hard to see. How would you like to turn that around? And turn that around in the most easy and profound way by really focusing on happiness and joy. I'm gonna tell some stories, which I love to do, and hopefully by the end, you'll have a few more tools in your toolbox that get you a lot closer to your goals and a lot closer to your dreams while achieving that work-life balance. So imagine if we were walking down the sidewalk of Chicago and you came upon a construction site, which is not hard in the summer in Chicago, <laughs> and you walk in, you see this person, usually a man, and he is working there and you ask him what he's doing. Sir, what are you doing? And he says, well, isn't it obvious I'm piling bricks? Okay. And then you walk about 25 feet further down the sidewalk and you ask the second man who's working on the same project, what he's doing. And he says, well, isn't it pretty obvious? I'm building a wall. And you walk 25 feet further down the sidewalk and you ask the third person, who, by the way, is doing the same thing as the first and second person, what they are doing? And they respond by telling you, I'm building a great cathedral. Sometimes when we're moving through the motions in our lives to get toward our goals and our dreams, it can feel like we're piling bricks. Sometimes it can feel like we're building a wall. And sometimes we forget that it's really a beautiful cathedral we're building in our lives. Find that thing that moves your heart personally, professionally, and for the world and do it every single day because then you will live a life of happiness and joy. Thank you.